Hi there, welcome to Chronicles of a Foster Family. Today it's Saturday and I'm here with Emma. Hi. And we are gonna do some dessert, a very frugal cooking and I'm gonna tell you about our tips and our secrets. Maybe you know them, maybe you don't, but tag along with us as we show you what we're about to cook. We are about to do some brownies with ice cream. I'm also gonna show Emma how to do a simple ice cream cake. And we are also gonna try with Mia, we are gonna try to make uh, some Oreos cheesecake. So let's go. Hi, um, my name is Emma and I'm gonna show you how to bake some desserts. And before you um, cook, you always have to wash your hands because of the COVID-19. Oh, how do you wash your hands? So first you gotta put um, on um, soap on your hands. Okay. Just one pump and uh -huh. then you start rubbing it up. All right. Always in the, always, and then you turn on the water. Okay. And then you count for 20 seconds, 18, 19, 20. Now you gotta use toilet, um, 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 um paper to, um, uh, to wipe your hands because you can't use other stuff because then you're gonna keep on spreading the COVID-19. All right. right, so the first thing that we're gonna, I'm gonna teach Emma how to do is we're gonna bake a cake and we're gonna try to keep all our desserts under $5. And the secret that I learned a long time ago from my best friend is that when your box says water, you are gonna use milk instead. Now, the other secret is that instead of using uh, vegetable oil you could use melted butter and what this does to your cake it makes it extra moist now today because we're gonna make an ice cream cake I don't need it extra moist so I'm only gonna use the oil not the butter but I am gonna use the milk because it gives it it gives it a different flavor other thing you should know is that my oven is broken and this it's something that my mom got me from my country, which is Uruguay, and it's an oven, but it goes on the stove top. And this is how we're gonna bake it, right here in the stove, and I'll show you later on. So um, that's where we are with the oven. However, that's not stopping us from baking or cooking or roasting. That part does everything. So you ready, Emma? Yes. All right, very good. So we're gonna shake this and we're gonna divide the batter once it's done into this two uh, pans. So we're gonna spray this. Why do you think we do this? Because so the, 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 um, the cake doesn't stick to the pan. You got it, so the cake doesn't stick. So this is a little messy, so I'll do it for you, but you'll get to do this. Okay. So now we got the pans ready. Mm -hmm. We'll put them to the side. You could go ahead and open that. So first we're gonna put the cake mix in into the mix. Three eggs. Three eggs. One. Two. Three. Our secret um, ingredient that replaces the water? The oil? No. Nope. It's the milk. The so milk. the water is gonna replace the milk, okay? Ready? Mm -hmm. So one cup. Now, here's the other thing that you should know. Because we're using milk, sometimes we need to add a little bit more than what the recipe is telling us to do. So go ahead and pour it in. And make sure you don't get any shells into the cake because then it won't taste good. Now it says one, one uh, fourth of vegetable oil. All right. Good. Now you could bring down the mixer. Ah. Um, we lock it here and then we put it in number one first. Once you see that the mixer already uh, mixed most of the ingredients, then you want to move it into two. This is where we need to add a little bit more milk than what the recipe is telling us because it's not soft enough, smooth enough. So we're just going to do half a cup more of milk. Now 
the batter, it's very uh, fluffy. All right? So what we're gonna do, Emma, we're gonna eyeball it and we're gonna, oh, sorry. We're gonna pour it in, in, the, in the pan, okay? So okay. you wanna hold the pan and I pour it? Okay. You could have any flavor ice cream. You could have strawberry or chocolate. You could put mousse in it. But today we're making an ice cream cake, okay? And uh, you can put these two pans in your oven at the same time. Just follow the instructions on the box. So we're ready for this. And this is how this works. I am preheating my Uruguayan uh, native oven. And I always like to pack, to pack the pan like this. And what this does, all those bubbles there, they disappear. All right? And then here it goes for about 20 minutes. And when we come back, we are gonna have the cake. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do, because we're gonna do something else with this ice cream, uh, we are gonna pour ice cream in another bowl like this, and we're gonna let it melt out. Okay, in the refrigerator. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator to I'm gonna use, this is, uh, yeah, cookies and cream, 1.5 quarts. I got it for $2 at Aldi's. And I'm gonna take half of this, put it in the bowl, and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator okay. so it starts melting, but it's not liquid. Wow, yeah. that really works. What you need to do before you put your cake back in the pan is you want to put wax paper down because then it's going to be easier to pull out. So we actually can make two cakes today. They're very small cakes, okay? And the wax paper it's in. And I'm going to go ahead and put... the cake in the pan so that's your cake now this is uh, cooled off already and then Emma remember that men melted ice cream we had yes all right and then we had it in the refrigerator but I need you to do it's a star scooping ice cream in there I'm gonna grab the spatula and I'm gonna start spreading the ice cream right here now we have the ice cream in here and we're gonna go ahead Whippa. we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the top of the cake back in the pan like that go ahead you can help me press it down a little bit so you wanna, yeah, make sure what? Go ahead, say it. Make sure it's not out of the pan because then it won't be a good cake and then no. it won't look good. Right, so make sure it's even. So I'm pressing it down a little bit. You can use the wax paper if you want. Press it down. All right, so now go ahead and start putting more ice cream in here. Go ahead. Ice cream in here. We are going to put sprinkles in it, Once. like party one. Like, yep, yeah. go ahead. Very good, let me help you with that a little bit. We just sprinkles. Can't wait to try it. Oh, we have no more. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this in the freezer it's gonna take about two hours for the ice cream to get hard again. All right, so there it is. That's our ice cream cake in the making. How to our cake here. Look how easy it is to take it apart. And then you pull this out. You could leave it there or you could take it out. But this is our cake. So we're gonna cut it so you could see, and then you see happy birthday. 
and you could cut it Very and we'll show you how it looks and the kids absolutely love this that's your cake you see it and it has the ice cream inside and it tastes delicious so this cake is really good and so easy to make so i hope you enjoy this video of the foster family and this video don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment down below bye